Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are going to talk about the topic how to be an overcomer. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came on this planet earth on two missions. One was to destroy sin and one was to destroy the work of the enemy. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 for the son of man was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And that was the plan and the purpose of God by sending his only begotten son Jesus Christ to destroy sin and that's how to destroy sin. And that's how we know that Jesus Christ overcomes sin and even death by dying on the cross of Calvary and destroying the works of the devil. And that's why Jesus had to be anointed. According to Acts chapter 10 verse 38 we see that how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and he started doing great things and destroying the work of the devil. Today God has anointed you with a plan and a purpose. The Bible says in Isaiah 10 verse 27 that the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing oil. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 it says for God has established you and God has anointed you. When you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your life, you can destroy the work of the enemy. No matter how many yokes he may put upon your neck, God has given us victory over every area of our life through, our, through His Son Jesus Christ. And today, we can be an overcomer by praying in the Spirit, by being with the Spirit. And that's where He has anointed us with a plan and a purpose to destroy the works of the devil. Are you living a defeated life for Jesus Christ has won over sin and death. And we are more than conquerors in Christ. Today, do you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Because the Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, When the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, you shall attain power, and you will be witness over Jerusalem, and Judea, and Samaria. So what do you understand by this? That the power has been given to the church. But there is no power in the church because there is no filling of the Holy Spirit. That's why the Holy Spirit is the one who does great and mighty things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why each one of you, my brother, sister, you have to be anointed by God. Because he said, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. The Spirit of God is given to each one who has a desire. Are you thirsty for his Spirit like the Samaritan woman? You ask Jesus at the well of Jacob, where can I get that? water to drink. She was thirsty. Are you thirsty? If you are thirsty, then Jesus is ready to fill you with His Holy Spirit and power to destroy every work of the enemy, to destroy every chain, and so that you and I, that we can live a victorious life. Because the Bible says, we are more than conquerors in Christ. That's why Paul says, I know who I believed. That's why we have the disciples, that they did great signs, wonders, and miracles. There was power in the preaching, there was power in the prayer, there was power in the evangelism. In everything the power of God was demonstrated. My brother, my sister, are you living a powerful life? Do you have the power to do the same miracles with the disciples of Dan? Do you have the power to raise the dead? Do you have the power to heal the sick? Do you have the power to pray? Do you have the power to preach? Do you have the power to evangelize the word of God? The Bible says the anointing will do everything. My brother, my sister, that's where you need to be anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the anointing of God is given to each one of us. It is given free, my brother. It is sold in the market. You can buy anointing of God because it is given by God to whoever desires of it. That's where my brother, sister, for you to live a victorious life, for you to live a life pleasing according to God, you have to be anointed by God because He wants to anoint you so that He can manifest His power and His glory. Because God is looking upon you. God is looking upon me, my brother and sister. Are you ready to yield to the Holy Spirit? When you ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life, He will come into life and He will change you. You will be like a wall of fire. You will be like a pillar of fire. The fire will start burning inside you. It is not only ignite you, but will ignite everyone, whoever listens to you. That's what we see in the life of Peter. That in one message, the 3,000 souls were added to the body of Christ. A simple message of salvation brought 3,000. 3,000 were baptized as the word of God says. 
And that's what we see, my brother, my sister. If you want to be effective in the ministry, you have to be anointed by God. It's not enough by just knowing the word of God. Many people say that if we know the word of God, that is enough. No. The word of God needs to be there. It is very much important. But at the same time, the power of God also needs to be manifested. With signs, wonders and miracles. And that's where Jesus has given the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit to the church. So when you desire the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gifts will start operating. The revelation will start coming. You will be start revealing the life of people. What they are going through. Because God will reveal every hidden secret. And that's what it is very much important, my brother, my sister. It is time for you to do great and mighty things for the kingdom of God. We are at the end of days, my brother, my sister. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. It's time for you to move into our next dimension. To move into the next glory of God. For the glory of God is going to come upon you. You will see the great manifestation. You will see a great revival. Wherever you go, whichever country you are, whichever city you are, whichever town you are, does not matter. Because when the fire of God falls upon you, revival will start. Revival will begin. Many souls will come to the Lord. So it is high time for you to destroy the work of the devil in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.